Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another painful Sunday video. Today, my friends, I'm going to be testing the Intel HD 2000 iGPU in 2021. <laughs> so I actually bought this little combo for 60 euros, the motherboard, 8 gigabytes of RAM and an i5-2320. And of course, that i5 has the integrated Intel HD 2000 from the Sandy Bridge architecture. It's going to be really bad from what you guys have told me me. Uh, actually, the Intel HD 4000 that I previously tested in the channel surprised me a little bit. I could play a lot of games with that. But you guys say that this is like the pinnacle of Intel HD graphics and it's horrible and I am very much looking forward to this video. <laughs> oh yes, this is gonna be legendary, my friends. Unfortunately, the Intel HD 2000 is from another era. It doesn't support DirectX 11 or 12 or Vulkan, so we're stuck to older titles here. But I think you wouldn't really want to play newer titles with it anyway, so that's fine. <laughs> Let's put it to the test in 2021, shall we? And here we go. Now in the desktop, let's go to CPU Z and see the specs of the system. So the i5-2320 is here. It's a 95 watt CPU. I actually thought it consumed less than that, but there we go. 95 watts, 32 nanometers, of course, because it's from the Sandy Bridge family of processors. It's a 3 gigahertz part, quad core with four threads memory. It's 8 gigabytes, dual channel running at 1333 megahertz. Over on the graphics tab, along with GPU-Z, you can see the infamous Intel HD 2000. It doesn't say 2000 anywhere, but it's that GPU. It released in 2011, of course, as did the CPU, uh, and the driver date is from 2016. So this is gonna be very interesting indeed. Let's get to the first game, which is CSGO. We're playing this one at the lowest settings in 640 by 480 resolution. You can check it out over here. I actually texture streaming because well we don't really have any dedicated VRAM and over on the audio settings I disabled advanced 3D audio processing because that's actually CPU intensive. So I have to do something. There we go. There we go. I can do this guys. We can finish first place, right? Oh, come on. Ah, oh. you know the 1% lows are absolutely terrible right there. <laughs> wow, that sucks. Okay. Right, wait, 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 wait. That's a bot. That's a bot. Okay, bot Ivan. We got him. Yeah, you can still play, I guess. Ah, uh, it's awful for CSGO, though. There is a lot of input lag, a lot of stuttering as well, probably because of the deathmatch, actually. Oh my god! Guys, I can't, I can't do this! I can't deal with these stutters! Holy crap! It is way too bad at times. 1% loss at 3. What? Oh, it, it literally stops! I hate what this game has done to lower end systems. It sucks, guys, because this would actually be a playable experience like five years ago. You could play CSGO on these specs comfortably, I think, but not anymore. Oh, man. Okay, I haven't seen one of those big stutters in a while, so maybe it, it's fixed. Maybe it was still loading in something. Oh my god, guys, please respect the Intel HD player. See, this guy respects me. All right, Eul is is a is a great guy. Everybody thumbs up for Eul. Come on, there we go. Raz as well, very um, respectful player right there. Yeah, it's not stuttering anymore, guys. That's the best guy ever. Love him. Oh, ho, 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 headshot. Come on, come on. No, boy, that was so close. That was so close. Almost headshotted the guy. Uh, it's a little bit harder to see as well at 640 by 480 <laughs> uh, but it is possible to play the game just don't don't go play competitive with these specs because you're not gonna get out of silver I guess whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. what the <laughs> I was hearing his steps should we actually try some flicks yeah let's do that oh Boy, I don't think I would hit that even if I did not have the Intel HD 2000, so that's fine. There we go. There we go. That one was a flick. All right. God. There we go. There we go. You, the most respectful guy ever. Oh, boy. The bastard from behind. No. Oh, I didn't shoot. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what the hell are you doing here? All right, let's reload. I think 
We got the third place, right? Yes, third place. Third place, just because of that assist there at the end. Next up, I want something that will actually run on the Intel HD 2000. So this is Team Fortress 2, and we're playing it at 800 by 600 using the lowest settings. I really, really hope this works properly. <laughs> oh, what the hell? All right, finally, guys, finally a game that you can play very well in this card oh yes 80s and 90s and 100s this is insane this is way better than my experience back when this game came out also look at how little vram this consumes 92 megabytes how cute is that <laughs> in a comment oh boy oh boy no no i don't want this please don't don't look at me all right it's fine it's fine okay okay we got this this is already the last control point and they're already here, killing everybody. Oh god, I'm just gonna join another one. Whoa, 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 no, 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 god damn it, dude. <laughs> no! <laughs> you know what, at least we're playing a lot of Team Fortress 2. That's good, because this is probably the least intensive game in the list today. <laughs> and, I, and I can play it, you know, I, we, we can play it here. Yes, it's perfect. No. Tons of them. These people are so good in Team Fortress 2 these days, guys. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. Can we get the... Oh, god damn it! Gosh. So annoying. Come on. No! Seriously. With a rocket to my face, I don't care. I don't care anymore. 95 FPS average, 51% lows. People here in this game are way too good. Let's get back to horrible with GTA 5, DirectX 10, 800 by 600 resolution, low settings, no shadows, disable those in the config files, and half resolution. So this is actually 400 by 300. Oh, this is, no. No, this is horrible. This is really bad. What is happening? Oh my goodness, this is awful. The GPA usage is not even maxed out. How is that possible? I guess it's because it's at 300p, but still, you know, I think this CPU can and will run GTA 5 absolutely fine with something like a GTX 750. Wink, wink. I actually bought the 750. It's coming and I will pair it with this PC and I will make a video on it next week. So keep tuned in for that. Uh, but yeah, this is absolutely awful. I didn't really expect it. <laughs> what the hell? Somehow I'm still driving the car properly and not hitting things. Ah, never mind. Okay. <laughs> oh, right now the RAM is actually completely maxed out. Maybe if I put 16 gigabytes in this PC, it would be a playable experience here in GTA 5. Um, but yeah, I, I, oh my god, no! I'm, I'm alive. This is the slowest car. I have ever used in this game. <laughs> oh my god, and I still hit people, of course. <laughs> I'm moving in slow motion with the slowest car possible. I mean, it's their fault at this point, isn't it, guys? I looked at the ground for a second, It's and it's so smooth, look at this. But then I look up, and it's so bad. I really think it's something RAM or VRAM related here, guys. Jack, I am coming! I am coming. I haven't given up on you, boy. Where are you? There he is. It's actually Jacqueline. Doesn't matter. Maybe it's just the GPU that can't really render him properly. It's Jack. I love you. Bye. Oh, I hate this so much. Let's stop it. Let's go to another game. <laughs> Oh god, this is Battlefield 3 now. We're playing at 640x480, low settings, 20 FPS. Well, I mean, 20 is not too bad. This, this feels like a playable experience-ish. God, stop it, dude, stop it. It's so annoying, the choppers. Oh, oh, I see one. Okay. Come on, come on. PS2, get over here. Uh, again, by the way, we are seeing some uh, VRAM bottleneck or something like that, because when looking in that direction, GPU usage is not maxed out. But if we look in this direction, uh, it's not maxed out either. So never mind. I know somebody's around here. Oh, yep, okay. We died with him. I was seeing him in the map, but... I couldn't really see him in the screen because the resolution is too low. <laughs> Camping. Bastard, we got one, guys. We got one. You know what? We found the best position to play with the HD 2000. You just stay there, look at the sky, and then you get 30 plus FPS. That's beautiful, right? You know what? It's not as bad as I expected. God. Uh, you can't do anything, but it's not as bad as I expected. <laughs> It's a cinematic 24 frames per second on average. 
the movies are shot at this frame rate. How come it's so bad when you're actually playing the game like this? <laughs> I, I'm gonna get you, boy. I'm gonna get you, boy. All right, gotcha. See, you can still be a medic and, and revive people and be helpful to your team. I can't do this, guys. I'm sorry. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> All right, so I just got into Battlefield Bad Company 2 here, and unfortunately, the lowest resolution is 1024 by 768. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to be better, but I really wanted to play Battlefield. I set it to DX9, DirectX 9, low settings at this res. Let's see how it does. 30s! 30s and 30s, but 30s guys, 30s, I've never been so happy to see 30 FPS, oh yes, this is also better than my experience back when I first bought this game, I bought it on PC with the G103M laptop, and I was so disappointed because I was playing the multiplayer in this one at 11 frames per second, I remember it so well, like, I was so sad, but you know what, if I had... The Intel HD 2000, back then, I would have played this on PC because I was fine with like 25 FPS and this is 31 on average, so I would have played the game like this. Oh, I just want to get a kill and move on to another game, to be honest. Like, I'm not sure if it will get better than this, but I'm kind of tired already of testing the Intel HD 2000. There we go, I got him! Nice! He also got me, but it doesn't matter. It was a trade. I got a kill. No! No! No, no, no! I thought it went over the the wall there. <laughs> Guys, I really think there's something weird going on with Dota 2 because every time I try to watch a game, it crashes. No, it didn't crash. What? Why do you do this to me, IntelliJD? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go over the settings 800 by 600 lowest settings 70% render scaling and it says dx11 But we're actually in dx9. I can't start counting our FPS for some reason, but this seems to be No, never mind. It's not really a playable experience. It drops Into the teens with all of these things happening. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's bad. Maybe if you play against bots and there aren't really many things happening at once, it could be playable, but it looks really bad and the FPS are awful. Yeah, see, whenever things calm down and nothing is happening, we can even reach 56 frames per second. 50 at 50, 60! 60 frames per second, guys. 61 there. Above 60 at times, but then things happen in the 20s. <laughs> No. All right, guys, we are in claustrophobic uh, simulator because the FOV seems like seven or so, like Bad Company 2, actually. I, I get lost sometimes just walking around the jungle, you know? It's so sickening. Anyway, let's go through the settings. This is in Portuguese, by the way. I can't really find the language option for this game, but 800 by 600, DirectX 9, and it's, of course, on the lowest settings. Now, I was expecting better than this because the Intel HD 4000 with the same settings and resolution ran this game at about 60 to 70 frames per second I think oh god am I gonna die no please please Jason Jason we gotta go oh my god that was so close oh hello hello little friends how's it going the pirates are after us so let's just get out of here you guys that told me that the 4000 was horrible this is the worst thing in the world like no t100 was worse but still this is the second worst thing that i've ever played this game with i hate it so much i'm, I'm stopping it right now all right guys we're playing minecraft at the 1080p resolution which is the native resolution of the screen this is actually the uh, windows store version of the game 10 chunks uh, and ah uh, this is just lovely guys what how oh my god oh i i 60 frames guys i am so happy right now now if you're wondering the java edition doesn't even launch in the intel hd 2000 uh it, it still drops by the way into the 50s at times now the question that i always see is how about tnt how does that run so i'm gonna put a lot of blocks here and see what the intel hd 2000 can do probably not a very good job i guess but hey 
It's for science, right? We were scientists here in this channel. Yes, that's what I like to call myself sometimes. <laughs> Alright, I'm so sorry, villagers, but this has to be done. Alright. Ooh! Wow! That wasn't too bad. What the hell? Minecraft Windows Store Edition. Go play it if you have the Intel HD 2000. It's gonna work fine. It's time for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. We're playing it at the 800 by 600 resolution using the minimum settings. I'm actually gonna up the FOV there a little bit, you know? Uh, yeah, this is it. Let's go. At least we're playing with bots, so everything should be all right. We should be able to do this with around 30 frames per second. You know what? 30 FPS. It's not too bad. Oh, God, this is awful right here. <laughs> what the hell? All right, so let's not look in that direction. <laughs> oh, God, no. Well, guys, this game was a AAA title in 2012, so of course the Intel HD 2000 is just bad. Honestly, I expected it to run a little bit better, maybe like 40-something FPS all of the time, but no, whenever you look in that direction for some reason things change you know what i do guys i would just camp in this area and, <laughs> and stay here for the entirety of the game <laughs> i tried my best there ooh, ooh, whoa, whoa, what oh, again with the knife i i just can't all right guys so we're playing rust now at 320 by 200 resolution that's 200p of course we're using the lowest settings possible here everything it's is turned off here as well and here and uh, all right let's try to find a server i guess this one will do right <laughs> i can't see <laughs> oh oh finally are you kidding me will it not even like load the textures <laughs> So it's been 10 minutes, exactly 10 minutes, uh, for this. It's a black screen, basically, with 12 or 18 FPS. Yeah, it stutters. Left for Dead 2. It should be playable. I really hope it is. 800 by 600 resolution. Lowest settings. Oh! What? High refresh rate. Not really. Not really anymore, but we were getting... Oh my god, I spit myself. <laughs> we were getting such high FPS. 100 plus, like 120, that was amazing. And look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, this is good. This is good. Good performance here. Playable. Very good. And it's not even 640 by 480. Go. Go away. Get away from me. All right. Get wrecked, zombies. Let's see the explosion. Did it drop. Did it even drop, guys. God damn it. Why didn't I choose the easy difficulty? All right, he's down. He's dead. Okay, we got this. You know what? If you have the Intel HD 2000, don't be bummed out. You can play Left 4 Dead 2. It's a very fun game. It's very cheap when it's on sale. What the heck? Come on. Although I'm being harsh here on the Intel HD 2000, but if you have it, you can actually play a few games, like older titles will actually run absolutely fine. And finally, for the last game, I got Skyrim at 800 by 450 resolution. I don't know why this shows up, but it's an interesting resolution, 450p, and the lowest settings possible, of course. As you can see, this is it. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> it is playable! It is playable! 30! Oh my god! I am happy right now. It's in a tiny window at the corner of the screen, but I am happy with this experience. This is actually doable. Looking at the sky, 50s or 40s. G100 is definitely worse than this. The Celeron 1007U that Gigi Moon used to play this game with was worse than this. It got like 18 FPS average, I think. This is surprisingly okay. It's not the greatest thing, obviously, it still drops from 30, but, I mean, if you have Intel HD 2000, you're probably used to dropping from 30 FPS. Shut up! Whoa, whoa, he wants to kill me now. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. What am I doing? Oh, boy. This is really bad. We got all of them after us. I'm out of here. No, 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 no. They teleported with me. This sucks. Oh, good, guys. They don't know how to parkour, so, <laughs> yeah. Let's go. There's a horse, actually a chariot attached to it. So 
Oh, it's Roach, by the way. <laughs> Hello, Roach. How's it going? Now, this is a real Roach. That one is a fake Roach. He doesn't even walk. All right, we got this guy's 40s out here. That's... that's not bad. That's playable. Oh my god, it's pretty bad in the water. Uh, so don't shower or, or don't take a bath here in Skyrim. It's not worth it with the Intel HD 2000. So, conclusion time. Do I recommend an Intel HD 2000 system in 2021? <laughs> Ah, of course not, if you're gonna be playing with the Intel HD 2000. Now, if you pair it with like a GTX 750, like we're gonna do later this week, well, maybe it's a decent option. I think the i5 still has a little bit of life left in it. Of course, not for the latest titles, but still, you can play some games. But the little Intel HD 2000, I don't think so, guys. <laughs> This was a terrible experience. I mean, I was pulling my hairs out at times, trying to, to launch games, trying, waiting for like Rust to load, for example. It was awful. Now we know the meaning of the 2000 in this GPU's name. It is meant for games that came out in the year 2000. Thank you very much for watching once again. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one very soon. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.